What if I told you that you could transform a patch of dull, lifeless dirt into a bustling underground city teeming with earthworms? And what if you could do it in just 72 hours? It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's totally real, and it all starts with pouring one simple homemade liquid into your soil. I did this in my own garden patch, a spot that seemed stubbornly devoid of our wriggly friends. I mixed up a special brew, poured it over the soil and waited. 72 hours later I gently turned over a spade full of earth, and there they were, plump, active earthworms, happily burrowing away. It was a remarkable, observable, repeatable scientific demonstration of a fundamental principle. Life begets life. The worms didn't magically materialize, they migrated from surrounding areas drawn by a powerful and irresistible invitation. This experiment wasn't magic, it was science. Soil isn't just dirt, it's a vast, complex, living ecosystem. Think of it as a microscopic jungle filled with billions of tiny organisms. These microbes, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, other microbes, are the true foundation of healthy soil. Let's consider the humble earthworm. These creatures are far more than just fish bait or bird food, they are nature's master engineers, the tireless heroes of the subterranean world. Their primary job is tunneling. As they move through the earth, they create a network of channels and burrows. This process is called aeration, and it's incredibly important. These tunnels allow air water nutrients to penetrate deep into the soil, reaching the roots of your plants where they are needed most. Compacted soil is like a brick wall for plant roots, but soil tilled by worms is like a sponge ready to soak up and hold on to life-giving moisture oxygen. They are quite literally plowing your garden for you day and night, but their work doesn't stop at just digging. Earthworms are voracious eaters. They consume dead organic matter like fallen leaves old roots microbes. As this material passes through their digestive systems, it undergoes a miraculous transformation. The worm's gut is a bioreactor, enriching the material with enzymes beneficial bacteria. What comes out the other end is what we call worm castings or vermicast. This substance is one of the most potent natural fertilizers on the planet. It is packed with nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium in a form that plants can easily absorb. A healthy worm population is like having a microscopic fertilizer factory operating 24-7 right in your garden. The benefits of these castings go even further, they have a unique soil-binding property. The mucus and other substances in the castings act like a natural glue, clumping tiny soil particles together to form stable aggregates. This is what gives healthy soil its wonderful, crumbly texture. This structure is fantastic for preventing erosion, as the soil holds together better against wind rain. It also improves drainage so your plant roots don't get waterlogged, while simultaneously increasing the soil's ability to retain moisture for longer periods. It's a perfect balance, engineered by worms, creating a resilient and forgiving environment for your plants to thrive in, even during dry spells' heavy downpours. So, when we invite worms into our garden, we are hiring the best help imaginable. So, what is this magical liquid that can summon worms in just three days? The secret isn't one single formula, but a category of natural, life-giving solutions I like to call microbial boosters. Simple, safe, often homemade, designed to feed the microscopic life already present in your soil. The three most effective and easy-to-make boosters are Compost Tea Banana Peel Water Diluted Molasses Solution Each works on the same principle. They provide a quick, easily digestible source of food. Sugar's simple organic compounds for bacteria for fungi causing their populations to skyrocket. Think of it as an energy drink for your soil's tiniest inhabitants. Let's start with compost tea. This isn't a beverage for you but for your garden. Made by steeping high-quality finished compost in water, often brewed with an air pump to encourage aerobic, oxygen-loving microbes. The resulting liquid is a concentrated brew teeming with billions of bacteria and teeming with fungi. Pour it on your soil and you add food and directly inoculate the area with a diverse army of beneficial microorganisms. That gives your soil a massive head start, kickstarts decomposition and creates a rich microbial environment worms find irresistible. Next up, banana peel water. Uses kitchen scraps. Banana peels are rich in potassium, contain sugars and other micronutrients. As they decompose in water the nutrients leach out, creating a mild, nutrient-rich solution. Not as microbially dense as compost tea but a gentle food source that encourages microbes to multiply. Great recycling for kitchen waste, pour and boost soil. Finally, diluted molasses solution. Molasses is a byproduct of sugar refining, essentially unrefined sugar packed with minerals, the ultimate fast food for soil microbes. 
Mix a tablespoon of unsulfured blackstrap molasses into a gallon of water. The simple carbohydrates are an immediate energy source for bacteria, causing populations to explode almost overnight. This sudden abundance is the dinner bell, a strong signal to worms that a feast is ready and they're invited. To understand why this works so fast we need to dive into some basic soil science. Consider this. A single teaspoon of healthy soil can contain up to a billion bacteria plus miles of fungal threads. However, in soil that is dry compacted or low in organic matter, many of these microbes are dormant. They are alive but they are essentially sleeping, waiting for conditions to improve. They are waiting for two things, water food. When you pour one of our microbial boosters onto the soil, you provide both of these things in abundance and you wake them from their slumber in a very dramatic way. The key ingredient that triggers this explosive growth is simple carbohydrates or sugars. Bacteria in particular are incredibly efficient at consuming sugars. When a food source like the molasses in our tonic becomes available, their metabolic rate goes through the roof. They begin to reproduce at an astonishing pace through a process called binary fission, where one cell divides into two under ideal conditions. Some bacteria can double their population every 20 minutes. This exponential growth is why the soil environment can change so profoundly in just 24 to 48 hours, you are witnessing a microbial population boom on a massive scale. Now why do the worms care about a bacterial boom? Because bacteria are a primary food source for them. Earthworms are detritivores, meaning they consume decaying organic matter, but what they are often targeting is the rich film of microbes covering that matter. An explosion in the bacterial population is, to an earthworm, like an all-you-can-eat buffet suddenly appearing next door. Worms can sense these changes in the soil chemistry and the increased microbial activity. They are drawn to these hot spots of life where food is plentiful. They will actively migrate from less active areas toward the feast you have created for them. This creates a beautiful chain reaction, a cascading ecological event. First, you add the liquid booster, the food second, the dormant microbes wake up and begin a feeding and reproductive frenzy. Third, the massive increase in microbial biomass sends out chemical signals through the soil. Fourth, earthworms and other beneficial organisms detect these signals and move toward the food source. This entire sequence from pouring the liquid to the arrival of the worms can happen in as little as 72 hours. It's a perfect demonstration of how a small, targeted input can stimulate a large, rapid response from an entire ecosystem. You're not just feeding the soil, you're activating the food web. You're not just adding worms, you're creating conditions that make worms want to be there. It's like shifting from building a house and forcing residents in to throwing a block party and having the whole neighborhood show up. A small targeted input stimulating a large, rapid ecosystem response. This is science in action, demonstrating fundamental ecological principles. The soil food web is an interconnected system where feeding one level benefits all levels. By strengthening the microbial foundation, you support the entire structure. This creates a natural balance that sustains itself, leading to long-term soil health and garden productivity. Simple science, powerful results in a thriving ecosystem in just three days. Ready to brew your own batch of microbial booster? It's incredibly easy. Let's make the molasses-based worm welcome tonic. A watering can or a bucket. Water, a bottle of unsulfured blackstrap molasses. Use unsulfured molasses. Sulfur can be antimicrobial. Find it in grocery stores in the baking or health food aisle, safe for all plants and soils, completely organic. Fill your watering can or bucket with one gallon of water. Use dechlorinated water if possible. City water, let it sit 24 hours to off-gas chlorine. Chlorine kills microbes, avoid it. Measure one tablespoon of unsulfured blackstrap molasses. Don't overdo it, a little goes a long way. Add the tablespoon of molasses to your gallon of water. Stir until the molasses is completely dissolved. The water should look light, translucent brown, like weak tea. That's it, tonic ready. It's a carbohydrate-rich energy drink for beneficial soil bacteria. For more power, add a splash of finished compost tea to introduce microbial diversity. Gently pour the solution over the patch of soil you want to revive. Moisten the top few inches evenly. Don't drench, give it a good solid watering. Do this in the morning or evening to prevent rapid evaporation. Now wait, let science do the work. The microbes are waking up, the dinner bell is ringing, the guests are on their way, so I encourage you to try this. Mix up a batch of this simple tonic and witness the science for yourself. Your garden will thank you for it. 
building a thriving ecosystem starts with one small simple action. Now go get your hands dirty and bring your soil to life. Consider subscribing for more amazing soil secrets. It's science. From a simple pour to a living ecosystem in just 72 hours.